s a w a d i k r a p and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. Now, this week we had one of the biggest headlines of the year with a rape scene that was televised on a soap opera nationally on primetime television here in Thailand. Now, the people who made that soap opera were actually heavily, heavily fined by regulators. Now, another thing we wanted to talk about is your latest edition of the Phuket News. Is hitting newsstands right now. Let's take a look at the rest of the top five. Let's kick it all off with a smile with Tuxedo Kitty. This cat clings to its owner's back while he drives a motorbike in the city of Bangkok. This is actually the return of Tuxedo Kitty since the photos of it have been making the rounds on Thai social media. But locals still don't know anything about the pair. This cute mystery continues. And local residents in Talang are blaming potholes and bad street lighting for the death of one woman following a motorbike crash on s r i s u t u n Road earlier this week. The 21-year-old Thai woman and a 24-year-old Thai male driver fell off their bike on Tuesday night, just west of the Heroines Monument, as the man is recovering at a local hospital. Some residents say there's a bike crash every night in the area because of the many potholes and horrible to no street lighting, and have continually asked authorities to take care of the issue, though nothing has been done about it so far. 39 new trains are set to take their first journey across the country next month, and most importantly, they come with screens in the back of the seats. The State Railway of Thailand unveiled the first batch of modern trains yesterday, with service set to begin on the Bangkok to Chiang Mai route in August, and more routes to open up to Hat Yai, Nong Kai, and Ubon Ratchathani by September of next year. The new trains also have vacuum toilets, surveillance cameras, and a communication system at your seat where you can order food and beverages. The fare for the routes on the new trains will remain the same. And Thai broadcasting regulators are handing down the first ever fine against the nation's biggest media conglomerate for depicting rape and violence against a female character. An episode of the Thai soap opera, known as Club Friday, showed a man raping a major female character on the show, and then later searing her face on a motorbike exhaust pipe. GMM Grammy, the company behind the series, was fined 50,000 baht for the episode that originally aired back on May 3rd and aired again just a week ago. Thai regulators say the scene was deemed obscene, was profane, and was harmful to people's mental and physical health. And it just comes weeks after the rape and murder of a teacher in Saraburi Province, prompting calls for mandatory death sentences. And Thai badminton is taking a massive hit as reports say 21-year-old star player Rachanok Nongmei Intanon tested positive for a banned substance during a major competition back in April. Nongmei is one of Thailand's best hopes to medal at next month's Rio Olympics, and she was briefly ranked number one in the world earlier this year after winning three straight titles. But the Badminton Association of Thailand is adamant that Nongmei is clean. Dismissing reports and saying that they had not been informed about possible doping from the World Badminton Federation, Nongmei could bring back the country's first ever Olympic medal if she's allowed to compete next month. And thanks for watching Phuket Extra. Extra. Don't forget to catch us on Phuket Extra on Monday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. สวัสดีครับ We are ready to provide international medical service with Warm Thai Hospitality. Call us at 1719.